Spiral Empathy finally, that's a really good engine for us. And you'll see with the addition of the Serpent just how much deadlier this deck can potentially get. Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for taking the time to watch Hello Good Game. Today we're playing Simic Raw. This is a free to play deck with zero rares and zero mythics. One of our common combos. I believe this is episode six, version 2.0 of Simic Draw. We've incorporated a couple really new cards, some from Ikoria, some from Corset 2021 comes to mind. Rewind, this is absolutely broken. Lower scale Kotal, another very good synergistic card within the deck. And then we added Primal Empathy, which even makes the draw that much more prevalent within your matches. So as always, we're taking a look at the deck list. We're gonna break down each individual card. Then we're talking about the deck strategy. How do the individual cards all work together? Followed by some gameplay footage where we break down all of the different play lines and interactions we can find within the new Corset 2021 meta. Followed by our final thoughts where we're gonna talk about the deck. Do we think it needs any changes, any upgrades? What to expect for the rest of the week content wise? So let's get right into it. Simic Draw in Corset 2021, free to play, zero rares, zero mythics. Starts out with four copies of Opt. This is an instant, scry one, draw a card. Four copies of Spectral Sailor, a creature, Spirit Pirate, a 1-1, one, one, Flash Flying, pay four, draw a card. Two copies of Stern Dismissal and Instant, return target creature or enchantment, an opponent controls to its owner's hand. Onto our two drops, four copies of Grow Spiral and Instant, draw a card, you may put a land card from your hand, onto the battlefield. Two copies of Quench, another instant. Counter target spell, unless his controller pays two. Negate, another instant. Counter target non-creature spell. Fairy Vandal, creature, fairy rogue, flash flying, one, two. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on fairy vandal. Onto our three drops, three copies of Neutralize, an instant counter target spell, cycling for two. Lower scale Kotal, this is a 2-2 creature snake. Whenever you draw a card, put a plus one, plus one counter on lore scale Kotal. Three copies of Primal Empathy, an enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, draw a card if you control a creature with the greatest power among creatures on the battlefield. Otherwise, put a plus one, plus one counter on a creature you control. Onto our four drops, we have two copies of Rewind. Counter target spell, untap up to four lands. Three copies of Wilderness Reclamation. At the beginning of your end step, untap all lands you control, and then three copies of Frilled Mystic. A creature, elf, lizard, wizard, 3-2 with flash. When Frilled Mystic enters the battlefield, you may counter target spell. These spells are accompanied by 13 islands, 8 forests, and 2 thornwood falls. That's the deck list. It's very simple. There's only a few changes. We kind of remove, or we move away from a removal heavy Simic draw deck into a more draw heavy draw deck, which should really help. Obviously we've incorporated Opt, Primal Empathy, our lore scale Kotal, to name a few. Those are really what was replaced from the uh, counter magic from the previous version, which if you're interested, I still recommend. It's more of a tempo version. And this is kind of more of a, a little bit of a, it is still tempo because you're outdrawing your opponent but a different variant of it, right? It's not counter heavy, it's more creature heavy, right? So the strategy of the deck, I know I'm uh, just going in circles here, but it does revolve obviously around your Wilderness Reclamation and your Spectral Sailor drawing cards and those draws will A, draw you counter spells to stifle your opponent, get that tempo in on him. It also helps your Fairy Vandal, right? It'll make him stronger. And then it also helps your lore scale Kotal. So both of these creatures get plus one, plus one whenever you draw a card. Fairy Vandal is uh, the first time you draw your second card each turn. And the Kotal is every time you draw a card, uh, period, which is really nice. So we're talking on your upkeep, on every opt, on every sailor, on every cycle from neutralize. Every draw that we do, uh, our lore scale Kotal will uh, buff up, which is really nice. And then we also have our Primal Empathy. So if we have the biggest creature on the field, we're gonna draw a card. And with Fairy Vandal, with the, the Snake lower scale, we will have the biggest creature on the field. So the Primal Empathy is gonna be an additional draw engine. Typically, we don't play this until after we have Wilderness Reclamation on the field, so we can play it and then the land comes untapped. 
and that point we still can hold up a, a counter spell or a bounce uh, something like this right so as far as the strategy goes it's exactly the same as the last simic deck except for the fact that we have primal empathy which is going to make things uh, that much more consistent because even with a deck filled with counters without the appropriate amount of draw behind them you will run out you'll your opponent will burn through your counters so you need to be consistently drawing them at an expedited rate which means no top decking lands or if you do uh, more than one draw each turn so that you do have the consistency of pulling those counters uh, and I think we found a really nice balance within this deck between draw and counters where it's not too many counters that there's not enough draw to draw more counters but then there's not so much draw that we're not drawing any counters, right? So it's, a, I think, a really nice balance between draw and counters so that uh, it flows really good within uh, a lot of matches. And we went 6-1 and one today. Uh, the season did just reset, so we're down in Platinum. And our last match we lost due to some connection or Windows errors, which is unfortunate. He might have still beat us anyways, but that's what I'm blaming it on. Uh, so a very strong Simic draw deck. Uh, 100% viable to get you to diamond and I think you could probably easily push this to mythic too if you're willing to grind out the matches So that's the deck list. This was the deck strategy a couple closing thoughts before we slide into today's gameplay footage I'm live on twitch every single morning 6 a.m. PST. We have daily uploads on YouTube We're doing the premiere process now So I'm showcasing the content live with you guys so you can chat real-time with me and the whole community as a group so it's been a lot of fun doing that i really recommend that you jump in and join in on that we also have our discord 1200 members beginners to the top ranked mythic players in the world uh, lots of other creators in there as well so it's a great place to get advice if you need any help if you're struggling right maybe uh some deck edit something like this or you can just help uh, or help the group by sharing your accomplishments sharing your great decks stuff like this right so everybody's welcome make sure to join check out our community competitions and giveaways there's a ton going on. I think we have like over $2,000 in uh, giveaways for you guys, the community, uh, as thanks for supporting me. You guys are incredible. Those of you who are spending your time and attention, I thank you sincerely from my whole goddamn heart <laughs> and people supporting the channel financially. Woof. Thank you so much, you guys. With that all out of the way, I hope you enjoy this free to play, zero rare, zero mythic Simic draw deck for core set 2021. I know I had a blast with it. If you're gonna upgrade the deck, I do wanna say that we will be talking about that in our closing thoughts. So don't forget to watch to the end so you don't miss out on our upgrade path for this deck. Thanks for watching you guys. Take care, enjoy today's gameplay footage. Alrighty, hand looks good. We don't really have much fire, but I mean, a little bit of juice, I guess, to get us going. We're uh, playing free-to-play decks here. Grow Spiral does help quite a bit. Huh. My damage is fine, whatever. Let's just let that hit, I guess. It's no threat. Land can stay. That brings our Frilled Mystic online. It's a big hit, mono green's tough, right? More land. I'll just replay it. Let's just take it. I'd rather use our dismissal on a, a big baddie like a questing beast. Something like this. Or right now would be better. I 
Having a sailor in pocket if we don't mystic is nice. But even if we do, we have to trade with the bark hide troll. Or do we maybe we trade with the serpent first? Well no, it has protection from multicolored, we can't do that. All right, so he gets to shut down the beast, and now we have a blocker. That's nice. Definitely killing the Pell Collector here, taking this trade. Passing our turn. We have Rewind open now into these Flash creatures, which is really nice. We're just going to flash block the Serpent. If he uses any magic on it, we have our Dismissal to bounce it and nullify that interaction. Very Vandal. It's just a, such a good blocker. Pell Collector in play. That's fine. Let's play our Sailor here. To draw an engine for us now. Oh golly. Let's take it nice and slow. Um, yeah, he's gonna attack first. We need to keep our blue source open for a rewind. So we're just taking the damage. There's the counter. Let's take our lands back. And now it's our turn. Let's take the, uh... It only costs four. Let's do an opt first. It doesn't really do anything. Ugh, it does more than the land, though. There we go. Field Mystic Online, that's awesome. Let's just play defensively here. Deep breaths. We have counters available. Let's grow spiral. And then draw with our sailor. Fairy Vandal goes up because that's two draws on our opponent's turn. Into our turn, Wilderness Wreck hits the field. Absolutely amazing. And we can play our uh, Snake as well. Get that on the on the play because it does not have Flash, but it doesn't matter because we untap our lands now. No attacks. Let's keep it cool.
I'm still gonna shut down Gem Razor. That's the majority of his mana. He only has two. So that should be fine. And I think this is game. There we go. Start doing chip damage here. Still being fairly cautious. Oh, we should have uh, taken a draw there with our Wilderness Rack. Oops. That was a, a huge misplay. Alright, um... Yeah, let's take a draw here. Maybe we can find something to deal with it. Just a land. Um, let's resolve that then. Let's take another draw here. We did miss out on one draw earlier as well, but I mean, we're so far ahead at this point that I'm not sure it matters. Um, that's kind of annoying, I guess, right? Should we just bounce it? I guess it's an artifact, not an enchantment. Let's just get our Vandal out. And then we can draw our face off here. Everybody clicks up from the drawing. <laughs> And uh, I guess we may as well grow Spiral this land in play. Why not? All of our mana untaps. Um, I kind of want to just bounce this. Let's hold it up though. Force him to block. Nobody wants to take 8-8 eight, eight, right to the chinny-chin. What do you do, though? Oh, yeah, down to 4. That is good stuff. All of our lands untaps here. So we get to redraw a bunch with our Sailor. Now, the other day we took a look at uh, this version in a little bit different aspect that was very control-heavy and you really just wanted to counter all of your opponent's spells. But this variant is a little different. We're still re relying on the draw engine between Grey Vandal, Sailor, and Wilderness Wreck. But we've added a, a couple extra things in here. Interesting. Casting this for two. And that's going to hit uh, a flyer. I think it fights it, so we can still bounce it, so the fight doesn't take place, but then he could just replay it. For us, uh, ultra annoying. I guess let's just take that. Right, that's a creature we don't want to bounce, because then he could just take out another flyer. Land is fine. He doesn't want to attack because then we have lethal in return, right? I guess. Just, it keeps him from gaining two life. Keeps him at eight, down from ten. And we still have our two activations. Hmm. 
Another Mystic, that's really good. Let's just go all in. We don't really want to bounce any of his creatures either because then when he replays them with the Great Hen, she gets to draw. So we're just kind of sitting on our stern dismissal. We reset his creature base. He's down to four. Lethal next turn. Oh, and we forgot to do the draw again. Oh my god, you guys. Make sure to set a stop to tap your mana and draw with your Sailor. Um, let's just counter this, and it's still a good game, though. So even with uh, the colossal amount of misplays that we've had here through our Wreck and our Sailor, um, still able to easily win this match. I've missed so many draws that I want to draw them now, right? Let's, let's make the team big. Nice and buff for the boys. Primal Empathy, finally. That's a really good engine for us. And you'll see with the addition of the Serpent just how much deadlier this deck can potentially get. We go first. Hand's not great, but it's also not bad. We have our Sailor. We have our Grow Spiral. So we're going to get in there. And then working into a Mystic, we do need a second Forest for that. But uh, I do believe... Well, that's his turn. Let's get our point of damage in here. We'll try to play this round without any misplays on our Sailor. Hopefully we pull a Force with Gross Spiral. He's going to be playing the same uh, kind of match as us, I think. So many islands, that's terrifying. He could have flashed in a Fairy Vandal, that would have been terrifying for us. Let's let him know that we do have a counter spell, even though we don't. We're going to grow Spiral and Island in. Well, hopefully a forest if we can pull it off the top. Oof. That is not a budget card, boys. All right, we get a Fairy Vandal, though. That's nice. We still cannot find that forest. Terrifying. Let's click up our Vandal. We find Wilderness Wreck. So that makes the equation a little bit more enjoyable. Yeah, you get disqualified if you're not playing budget. This is common knowledge. He's not bouncing anything? Let's pull forest. Lordy, 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 lordy.
Girl Spiral's good. That is not a quench. Oh, if it was a quench, we could pay for it. He needs a negate. Nice. So let's get that on the field then. May as well. Comes out without consequence of tapping our mana. We're fully untapped. For all he knows, we've got uh, enough to do something here. We don't. What is he doing? Like, what cards does he have in his hand? Let's just take the draw. Count our blessings. That's fine. We can bounce Thassa at some point. Just sink our mana as far as we can. Oh, nice. We do get our Frilled Mystic online. That's awesome. Lord. Lord, Lord. Ah! Ouchie. And we still get the draw here. Oof, so many land. Good game. Keeping seven here, even though the land's not good. We have two with a one drop, a little bit of interruption, a three drop, and our bomb four drop. So if we can pull the third and fourth land, we're laughing, right? Preferably one island, one forest. Oh no. The cat. Not the cat. Let's take a deep breath. A deep yawn in my case. Sailor can come out. Alright, we're pulling land. That's good. Let's just keep pace as much as we can. Anything good hits, we bounce it immediately. Even while Strider. Let's bounce it before the token comes out. So if he wants a scry, it's got to be on the cat. We get the correct land. Freeled Mystic is going to be online, you guys. So we've got Reclamation into our Mystic. And then another stern dismissal. We don't have to counter. We do have the draw through Sailor. That's fine. Get your best card, bro. Uh, ending our turn still. Alright. Finally his turn. There's his fourth land, here's Vito, and there's the Frilled Mystic. <laughs> it's too fun, you guys. Alright, hand looks really good here. We do have our Sailor into our Reclamation. A little bit of interaction to get us there. Let's go tap land first, just play slow. Uh-oh. Oh no, cycling. Isn't that terrifying? We have Fairy Vandal for a uh, blocker of the f haste variety, but I think he's just cycling. Let's spend all of our mana. I think he's landlocked. We're getting just so lucky recently with these matches. This will be potentially our fourth win in a row. I don't want to jinx it. Um, Zenith Flare, am I right? Hopefully we can just 
kill it. Let's kill this. Taylor can come out. Reclamation hits the field. And that's basically the whole route that we want to take, right? Uh, we don't have anything, but we will be able to play our Vandal. Or take the draw. I think maybe we draw, actually. So much cycling. We need another counter spell. But that's why we will draw instead of the Vandal. Opt doesn't get us there, but we can use it. Um... Let's just keep drawing with our Sailor. We may as well do this now as well. Land can go. We have enough of that. Uh, rewind. That's perfect. That will allow us to not only counter, but play our Vandal. Alright, he's got seven. Screw it. And screw this fox. Like, so there's only a couple things you need to counter in this deck, right? That fox is probably one of them. It does put him up to 10, though. That's, that's frightening. We need more counter spells, so we're drawing with our sailor. Oh, lord. Cycle City. He needs a second uh, plane, so doesn't he? And we get our negate. Absolutely perfect. Play our Vandal. Draw with our Sailor. Both Vandals click up. All of our land untaps with Wilderness Reclamation. Next turn, Primal Empathy hits the field, which is a additional draw engine for us, right? Now, Sorry. <laughs> oh goodness gracious we get to draw here as well another another counter absolutely perfect two primal empathies in play now as well this is busted sorry not sorry There's no way he could flare us on three land, so let's just stop that. Oh my lord. Disgusting. Okay, so our opponent goes first here. Um, we have our wreck again. We have Vandal. We're missing our Sailor. And we're still really relying on land drop. I like to have three in the opening hand, in all honesty here. Perfect. Let's get that on the roll. We can opt, looking for some sort of counter spell, paying life, that's terrifying. Oh, quench, perfect. That's literally exactly what we were looking for. Sailor off the top two, that's ideal, not playing. If we don't quench, we will Vandal though, just because we need to use our mana efficiently. And there's really no reason to be countering this Grow Spiral. Um, don't counter Ramp. Right? This is... Mm, mm. Maybe we do counter Uro, though. It just does so much, is the thing. We have no counter spell available here. Let's pass. We need to flash our creatures in before we play our empathy. Whatever. 
I think they only run two copies of Eliminate in uh, Salt Eye Ramp, so that's fine. This is one of the most oppressive decks around right now. We're going to hold up our Rewind. Can Wreck hit? If he counters this, we're in trouble, but if it hits, we're okay. No. They can't handle it, you guys. They just cannot handle the heat. 5-0 and oh so far. Okay, so this hand... I... Don't think is good. It could be. Let's mulligan it. I kind of like this more, and let's toss an island. Right, now we have a, a negate and a quench rather than just the fairy vandal. Opt if we don't need it. Yeah, let's just stay ahead of them. Normally you don't counter ramp, but... I think in this scenario, it's fine. Main phase op, so he thinks we don't have anything. What are the chances of us drawing a forest, though? Is that going to be something we can do? We have to go for it. That's the play line. Growth spiral does help. If we don't need to negate, we can spiral. Perfect. We do need a forest though, so not quite. <laughs> oh, that's not it either. Negative. Okay. Um, negate's still active. Looks like he's a creature-based deck though. All right, we have a flash blocker on the Skull Prophet. Countering his Questing Beast, Avi. Fiend Artisan's great. Ooh, we're still biting the big one on this land drop. Cannot find this forest, come on. There she is. And it's active. Oh man, we're gonna get pummeled. Let's just end our turn here. If we don't counter, we do have the draw through the Sailor. I can't counter the Fiend Artisan Summon though. This is what's troubling to me. I will just flash block it though. Oh my lord! Pro play. I did not expect the Skull Prophet to tap to mill. All good things must come to an end. <sighs> Cry. Let's get a sternest missile, something good.
to rewind the first one. This freaking fiend artisan, though. Let's just take our draw. Maybe we get a stern dismissal. That's not doing it. Taking seven, eight, nine, potentially. No. Eight. Without stern dismissal, this does nothing. Holding on at least. GG's, RIP's. Just do the old chump block. Counter this, of course. So uh, we did have a little bit of an oopsie whoopsie there. Let's bounce this guy. Um, getting caught off guard. And we need to go in full control. Um, no attacks. Whoa, 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 whoa! I was in full control for that. I... I'm a little bit frustrated by that play right there. We just missed out on two draws on a counter spell. All because of an application crash. It is what it is, whatever. I think he probably had us beat before the application crash and we were just holding on, so I shouldn't totally blame it on that. Yeah. I mean, good game. All right, we have full control on spending my mana. Yes, and we draw a card. Oh, it full control goes away. It did, did it again. Oh my lord. So what you need to do is you need to set a stop instead of going full control. Um, so you don't have to off yourselves like I'm doing right here. Um, yeah, good game. I mean, that's just an atrocious <sighs> match for us. Oof. Simic Draw Corset 2021 is a banger. This might be one of the best free-to-play decks in the new meta, you guys. I'm taking down some of the top-ranked tier meta decks with no rares, no mythics. Admittedly, we are down in Platinum today because the season just reset, so the competition might not be too stiff, but we're easily climbing through Platinum, and I think this would easily climb through Diamond into Mythic as well. So if you're looking for a deck to play ranked with this season without blowing your wild cards, this is it right i got you no problem we do want to talk about the upgrade path a little bit though things like brazen borrower are very good this can replace our stern dismissal just because it can bounce permanence and opponent controls plus it's a flash flyer which will really just help our damage output that's absolutely amazing we have thassa's intervention which is really cool this can be a counter spell or a draw engine so it has great synergy within the deck as well we did have a few others I was looking at, but uh, that is the most important set of two right there to go in with the, the deck. Uh, otherwise, rare lands, incorporate your shock lands, incorporate your scry lands. That's gonna make the deck that much more consistent. You're always gonna be dropping your frilled mystic on time when you have it and not looking for the land like I was today. So that's it. Those are our basic upgrades for the deck. Thanks for watching, you guys. On Hello Good Game, the pleasure has been all mine. Thank you so much. I'm live on Twitch every single morning, 6 a.m. PST. We have daily premiere uploads on YouTube, so we're showcasing our latest content live. So come engage in real time with me and the whole community. 
We also have the Discord, all skill levels, beginners to the top ranked mythic players in the world. Also some of the coolest content creators around. So it's a great place to get advice, share your experience with the game that we all love. Simic Draw, Core Set 2021. Maybe my, no my new go-to budget deck. You guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear your feedback. As always, those of you who are supporting the channel, channel financially, you're absolutely gods among men. Thank you, App Mythic Legendaries. You know the deal. You're incredible. I think that's it. Tomorrow, we are maybe gonna push our free-to-play agenda a little further into a mono-white free-to-play life game deck. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna be making some 4-4 Angels. We're gonna be making some 2-2 Griffins. We're gonna be buffing them all up and hidden in with lifelink. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoy. Make sure to subscribe to all the channels. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon, share it to a friend, all that great shenanigans. All right, you guys, take care. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.